All right, class, I know you're all participating in today's walkout. I just want to say I support you. Thanks, Mr. H. We're going to join millions of students who are standing up for what's right. Gerald, it's been so cool organizing our school's protest with you. Yeah, I had a great time working with you too, Megan. Yeah, I think we make a great team. Oh, no, don't make eye contact and rub the shoulder at once. And okay, it's happening. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock, everybody stand up! No, wait! Maybe we shouldn't stand up right now. You don't want to stand up against gun violence? Not at this specific moment, when, when I'm wearing mesh shorts. Gerald, what's wrong? We had a plan. Let's do just like you said. Let's stand tall and walk out leading with our pelvis. I hate that I was so specific. OK, <laughs> new idea. Instead of doing a walkout, how about we do a lie down? A lie down? How does that work? Well, to protest, we all lie face down on the floor, and, you know, we kind of writhe around a little until it's gone. <laughs> Kids, I don't know what's going on with Gerald, but I thought the room would be empty by now, and I timed my e-cig break for the walkout. So, walk out. Wait, wait, I think my problem's going away. That's great, man. And it's back. <laughs> and I learned something about myself. I think it's pretty clear what's going on with Gerald. Oh, no. What do you got, like a side view or something? Gerald thinks that the media has been giving all the coverage to white schools. Ooh, yes, I like this, yes. Ignoring the people of color who face violence at higher incidences. Yes, they do face that. Keep talking. This is good, this is good. Great, then, Gerald, you lead this dialogue on race. Stand up without holding any books or jackets in front of you, and you march straight down to Thurgood Marshall Public High, and you say, fellas, I know this thing is hard and upsetting, and it's pretty darn crooked, but if we roll up up our sleeves, we can beat it together. Right, I'm gonna pass. Listen, friends, I know I'm just a foreign exchange student, okay? But in Sweden, we have no guns, no shootings, and no sunlight. We sit year-round in total darkness, eating fish that is rotten on purpose. So America should just become like Sweden an ice-covered nation of 1,200 people and one giant that we call Tefrogazer. Anyway, come on, guys. If we don't band together, what's next? Training teachers to use firearms? Okay, I'll get right on that. In addition to teaching history, gym, and then driving you all home on the bus, I'm spread so thin, I've had to teach myself to micro-nap. Seatbelts! <laughs> Isn't anyone worried that this walkout could get us in trouble? This could go on my permanent record. I won't get into an Ivy League school. My mother will disown me because I'm not my perfect sister who died. And that's the monologue I'm using to audition for the theater program at Connecticut College in New London. <laughs> Look, guys, I support the walkout, just not today. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. No one told me this was happening on 420, and frankly, I'm double booked. <laughs> I know why Gerald's sitting, because he's not a snowflake. Oh, no, Lance. Yes, Lance, equal time. I'll never forget the first time my old man took me hunting. I was such a baby. I wanted to stay home, wrap a towel around my waist, and play lady restaurant. Instead, he dragged me weeping into the woods and made me stand there in the rain holding an AR-15 until I turned a gopher into red dust. And two years later, when I finally spoke again, I said, guns. Lance, would you like to see the counselor? Oh, yeah. Do you really want to leave policy up to a bunch of old white guys? No, I don't even like old people. I don't think they should be allowed to vote. I mean, I don't mean to cause trouble, but you don't get to order for the table if you're about to leave the restaurant. <laughs> That's ageist. It really offends me. I work at a home for the elderly, and I go every Tuesday, and I hold their frail hands. And some of them, their skin is paper thin. Their cartilage like firm jelly. And underneath, you can feel their bones. Oh, keep going. The problem's going away. Okay. We can walk in three, two... Oh, hi, Principal Anderson. Every other classroom is outside. What's going on in here? Sorry, I had to delay us a little bit. Oh, so you're the little troublemaker, huh? You're the little bad boy, uh, huh? 
sits back with a vengeance. You're the naughty, 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 nasty. Hold on, I gotta step on this bug with my stiletto heels. And it took care of itself the other way. All right, let's walk out, everybody. Yeah.